to be a tough game. I spoke to someone connected with Everton just in the press room there saying the boys are shattered. They stayed over in split after their game in the uh, Europa League qualifying, uh, of course, which they, uh, they managed to get through on that one. Um, they stayed there that extra day and they've come back, flew back in on the, on the Friday. So there's a lot of travelling for them. They play Thursday, Monday, Thursday, and then again today on Sunday. We've only had those two games so far. So um, if it does get to the latter stages, the game might start opening up and hopefully that's when we can take advantage. It's Everton's third away game of the week. They had a nightmare here last season when Chelsea turned in one of their finest performances in recent years. A 5-0 thrashing meant an 8-0 aggregate score in the two league games between the pair. Given Everton's significant investment over the summer, expect things to be much closer this time around. And Pedro's in the middle. Pedro with the spectacular effort, it would have been a great goal. Fabregas. Rata. Fabregas! Oh, what a goal! A thing of beauty from Cesc Fabregas. As Piliqueta in for Morata! Yes. Two and two at Stamford Bridge for Alvaro Morata. And Chelsea double their money just before half time. Going mad, but I think that was the right call. Has Billy Gwynn across? Alvaro Morata 2 0. Great advantage play. Great advantage play, John Moss, by the way. Andre Ramirez got lucky and then he lost it. And here's Pedro. It's Pedro just wide. How lovely would that have been to see to go in the back of the net? Super little nutmeg. Bakayoko will be on for his uh, Stamford Bridge debut in place of Pedro. Rooney, and here's Aaron Lennon, great block from Rudiger. And Gay, over the bar. A Blues cruise in the Sunday sunshine, as easy as you like for Chelsea against Everton, who got the job done in the first half, courtesy of goals from Fabregas and from Morata. The points always look destined to stay at Stamford Bridge. I'm pleased for uh, I'm pleased about him. I'm pleased about him because Alvaro is uh, is working very hard. But not only Alvaro, all the players uh, are working very hard. I think the new sign uh, uh, they are trying to adapt very well in, in our philosophy. It's not easy because uh, they need um, time to adapt. But uh, I must be pleased for uh, for Alvaro, for uh, Rudy, for uh, uh, Christensen, for Baca. Uh, yeah, and uh, for sure I think uh, um, it will be very important after uh, the international break to to continue to work uh, in, in this way. The, today with the clean sheet, I think everyone is happy, and the three points are very important because um, because now we can work very good. Okay, although some guys go into the national duties, but like it's important to take three points like this.